All right, now we're on problem 15 for page 554. And uh, sadly enough, ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, last math video of the year. So let's, let's go out with style. Problem 15, let's get to it. The data set shows the scores of three players for a board game. Player A, B, and C, and there's their scores. All right, choose yes or no. The mean absolute deviation of player B's score is zero. Player B scored 110. So to find the mean absolute deviation, the first thing I need to do is find the mean. 110, 190, add that all together. We get 300, divide that by three, we get 100. And then we find out how far away that is from the mean. So uh, 110 would be 10 away from the mean. 100 would be 0 away from the mean. And 90 would be, again, 10 away from the mean. Add that together, we get 20. Divide 20 by 3. And we get, what, 6. And we don't even need to do the rest because we know it's not 0. So we would say, no, that is not true. Okay, number 15B, the mean absolute deviation of player's A score is zero. Well, player A, we do the same thing, 90, 90, 90, find the mean first. That's 270. 270 divided by three is 90. And let's see how far away from zero, 90, is zero away from zero, 90 again is zero away from zero, and 90 again is zero away from zero. Add that all up, divide by three, yeah, zero. So yes, that is true. And then 15C, the mean absolute deviation of player B's is greater than the mean absolute deviation of player C's. Okay, so let's finish off. This was our mean absolute deviation of player B. Let's go ahead and finish that off now because we end up, we do need that information now. That's going to be 6 again. And so it's just going to be repeating 6.6 .6 repeating. And now all you need to do is follow the same steps that I did to find the, abs the mean absolute deviation for player A and B. Do that same thing for player C and then see if B has a greater mean absolute deviation or if C's is greater mean absolute deviation. If B, if 6.6 .6 is bigger than the number you find for player C, then you're gonna mark yes. If 6.6 .6 is less than the number you find for player C, then you're gonna mark no. Hey guys, it's been a crazy ride. Done a lot of math. We're gonna still do math, but it's the last time I'm going to be talking to you directly on these videos. So uh, good luck. Continue to work hard. Focus. Can-do attitude. Take initiative. Listen in class. Thanks again for watching. And I won't see you on the next one.